Okay, there you have it. We have the Femi X8 SE 2022, the gray edition. And yes, uh, shoulders no worse for wear, but it's going to have to get looked at. So, we have an update on the X8 SE. And we had a camera update a couple of weeks ago, three weeks ago, four weeks ago. Now we have a firmware update. The firmware update only thing it says is it increases the performance of the gimbal and something about speed parameters in certain flight modes. Eh, nothing special. Anyway, let's look at this and we go to the firmware and there's the firmware uh, 304F and 316A. There you go. Okay, we're ready to go. Brightness, it's not that bright, but let's get it up and see what happens. Okay. Here we go. Auto takeoff, push the button. Okay, where's the auto takeoff? There we go. Got it. Wow. Okay, got to be careful not to push buttons on the back of this controller. It's way up there. We're going to bring it down and have a look at the hover. Okay, very stable. There we go, a little bit. Okay, now let's do what we did yesterday with this and hope we don't kill ourselves again. Here we go. It's a big drone. It's a very big drone. I would say it's not as stable. It's not. It's not as stable as the mini version. It's definitely not as stable as the Hubsons but I don't think it's as stable as the Mini, but we shall see, okay? Here we go, it's a big bird. It's not bad, it's pretty good. I guess as it gets its bearings, we've got 14 satellites, okay? So let's get up and go down to the lake and see what happens there, okay? Here we go, and up. It's fast, I mean, it's really fast. And we're up to 40 meters. Let's go a little bit higher. Okay, 45 or 50 meters there. Okay, bring that camera down a bit. And the good thing about this one is I can adjust the EV value by a scroll of a wheel. Here, see? I can go down, up. Down. And we're at zero there. Okay, so let's go down a couple. Okay, and let's go out there. And same as we did before, we're going to go right and left. Okay, a little right. And we're going to start this video. Where's my video button? Okay. There we go, we start the video. So let's go forward. A little left and a little right. Okay, a little right. How's that there? Okay, so let's turn around. Let's stop that video there. And let's go into we're going to see if we can change it to fluorescent. Fluorescent. Let's see if that changes it. There we go. Now we've got fluorescent. And we're going to go forward a bit. And turn left. Okay. And we'll keep turning. I just want to know if there's that jitter issue there. We'll turn around quite a ways here. I don't mind the fluorescent. Okay, there's the lake over there. It's very hazy. So let's go quickly get over the top of the lake there. Full stick forward. It's coming overhead now. And it's 11 or 12 meters per second. It's pretty fast. And we've still got 80% in the battery. We're good. Okay. 
So we're going to go down over here, fluorescent. Let's stop that video. We'll go back to full auto. And again, getting the hang of this, I think. Full auto. See, if you use it sunny or cloudy, it's yellow. So full auto. Okay, start the video. There we go. And we're going to go this way. And we're going to turn it a little bit. And go out into there. Okay. We should be just about over the middle of the lake. So let's bring that camera down. Where are we here? We're right about there. So let's go a little farther. Okay, so we're in the middle of nowhere there. Okay, up we go. And we turn it around. And we can come down a bit. Because we're in the middle of nowhere. Okay, we can come down. And I know we're at 20. We're in the middle there, so we can come across a little bit. Okay. So let's go about there. We'll go forward. Try and make our way through this pile here. What's that all look like there? And it's changed. Okay, let's turn this around and come up. here and we're just checking out this video here and here we go we're up about 47 meters well we've got to go up let's go up to sorry about that let's go up to about 65 or 80 meters let's go to 80 meters thereabouts okay okay and we should be just about here. What's all that video like? A little overcast. The guy's getting his uh, hydro seed, putting his lawn there. He's done a really beautiful job at that place. He knows how to manage and do project management, I guess. I have a hard time with it. So, there we go. We're going to bring it in. We've got uh, half the battery left. Well, let's see if we can go over there. A little higher up there. And we can go up. That's about max there. We're pretty close to it, that's good. Okay. What do we got? Well, there we go. There we go. I don't want 
if I'll be able to get it, but get up to a hundred meters. There we go. If we get a kilometer out, then we're going to be fine, but we may not. A little further down there. There we go. Let's see where we go. 600. That's a big drone. That's a big drone. I think we're going to have to bring it home soon. Seven, eight. If I get a kilometer, that's like high five time. That's high five time if it's a kilometer out there. It really is because nothing would ever. I'm going through the house, through the trees. Horrible day. The whole bit. So. Still got it. What's the left and right like? Yeah. So, here we go. We're about a kilometer. And yeah, so let's hit that button to come home. I flipped it over. Auto return. There it comes. And we just kind of leave it. And we see what happens. Okay. Um, it's not bad. It's a 10 inch tablet. I would say it's too big. Okay. And the TechClast T40 Pro is not the right one. I should have probably got the TechClast T40 Pro Plus or the M40 Pro. Um, simply because it doesn't have a 3.5 millimeter jack and uh, it doesn't have the brightness I need. I thought it did, so uh, mistake. It's a great tablet for around the house, but uh, not much good for the droning. I have a TechLass P80 Pro, perfect size, seven inch. It's just only got three gigabytes of memory, RAM. This has eight, so it can perform a lot faster, but it doesn't have everything I need. It was, I think, $225. So, yeah, you get what you pay for. So it should be coming home now. Uh, yeah, we're about 500 meters away. Um, yeah, and if anybody's interested, yesterday, uh, this here, I feel a lot better today. I fell backwards where that was there, and I'll, I'll show you that here. I was doing all the updates yesterday, and I fell backwards behind that plant against that uh, brick step and the patio, and the controller went up and hit that post and the phone ended up over in the driveway. So, let's put this back. We're waiting for it to come home. Here we go. And it should be just above, just about now. It's up there, it's up 104 meters. So it should be coming home. It should be coming home and we're gonna see where it lands. I've got the skis on it, the big heavy duty ones, okay? Because it is over 250 grams, I have to have it registered, I do. I have my certificate, I do. I'm restricted by certain things. And um, if I go beyond visual line of sight, I make sure I'm over water or over some abandoned field where there's nobody around, no buildings. Anyway, we try to be cautious. Oh, it's coming straight down. So let's see where it lands. I'm not going to touch it. I'm not, I'm not into the precision landing, but it's got the big skis on, so we're going to see how close it is. And if not, I'll just flip it over. Okay, just see. I haven't touched it, so. It slows right down pretty good. It's within... There it is. It's about a meter off. Okay? So we'll just come over. Oh, the heck with it.
And because it's so far off the ground, it doesn't really matter. It's got the skis on it. See? Beautiful. No complaints. The uh, Femi X8 SE 2022, gray edition. I've really never had a problem with it. It's been great. Let's look at the video and we'll catch up with it. So what do you think of that? Yeah, the new firmware, 3004F. Supposed to stable the gimbal a little bit more and all that kind of stuff. Well, for me, the Femi X8 SE 2022 has been pretty good. It has been pretty good. But what did you think? Did you notice any jitter in the yaw? Um, uh, did the gain change any? Uh, I didn't notice any differences when I went through all the specs. I didn't notice anything different in the app. My main concern now is the fact that the app sometimes crashes if I don't use a phone. So I'm going to be going back to my uh, Samsung Galaxy 9 Plus, and it seems to get a better connection. Um, so I, I think with the Femis, it is device dependent, and some of the devices work better than others. Uh, I will say this Tech Class T40 Pro is not a good device to use on this drone. It has a great CPU, it has a great screen, it's just not the right one. Okay, so as far as this update goes, no harm, no foul. Takes pretty good pictures. What did you think? Did the fluorescent changing make a difference? Did the EV veils make a difference? I will say I really like the Femi X8 SE for the fact you can change the EV values on the fly. What I don't like is in post editing, unlike the Hubsons, every time you take a picture or a video, it has a flash white screen for a tenth of a second. And you can really hone in and getting your syncs to videos. But with the Hubsun, uh, there's no definition break it's just automatic it starts so you takes a bit of time trying to find all that but that's if you're into post editing and all that kind of stuff other than that i have no complaints it's a massive drone it's a very big drone but for under 450 bucks to get everything this drone can do to sustain a level 8 wind resistance can have enormous range great battery life uh, pretty good camera. It's not up there with the one inch or the one over 1.3, but it's pretty good. And I'm sure if I knew a little bit more about photography, I could get it even better. But that's me just rambling. Anyway, have fun, get outside, get some exercise, enjoy the summer, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye now.